Hello and welcome back to my channel. We've got some more Taemin today. Taemin, the king, the king of K-pop, if you ask me. I think he's just one of the best all-around performers you could possibly get. If you were to distill every great quality in the artists across uh, the industry and put it into one person like a superhuman, yeah, come out with Taemin, it seems. Uh, we're gonna be checking out two more MVs from him today. This is a request from Elizabeth Chambers. Thank you so much. If you guys wanna request something of your own, Patreon is where you can do that. We've also got some live stages, uh, like a concert medley from Taemin in on there that, that absolutely blew me away it was like a month or two ago i checked that out just amazing um but yeah we're gonna be checking out move and want move i know very well just because like half if not more of the k-pop industry has covered that song uh especially because uh sf9 uh did on kingdom and performed it so so very well with their own flair so we'll be doing that along with want which i'm not sure if i know want but i guess we'll find out let's do this thing Taemin, move I've never seen the MV though. This feels real dystopian, but also kind of like 90s. Do we have captions? Oh, we don't. Shame. Oh, the wet hair look. I mean, the choreography for this song is absolutely iconic, which is why so many people have covered it. The real controlled slick hit movements. classic Taemin. It's like just that mood dressing that you get, the the little hints of sensuality. It, it's just so very him. And I know, I, I, I've wondered, does Taemin not, I, I know that advice, oh God, I love advice, but partially what advice is kind of saying that he's going to be who he is despite like critics or, or anything like that. But also, is that in reference to like what S SM kind of poses like him as like a dark character like i know maybe in this sm universe thing that they're trying to create he is supposed to be like the villain or something i don't know if that's the case but a lot of his you know recent uh mvs have been pretty dark uh in nature which is you know totally up my alley i love it but is that something that he himself also is totally for i don't know how much control he has over his direction so i'm talking like idea or criminal something like that i don't know if he has a say in the tone. This mask, is he the freaking villain from the 80s story? <laughs> Great. She mirrors him really well with the short hair and everything. Damn, this is a real good song. It's so catchy. Anything with like a deep visceral bass line like this. a laid-back MV though not as like explosive 
He always has like the most interesting styling and outfits though. He like really just skirts this like like non-binary line in the way that he dresses and it, it really pushes forward a lot of his character. And you you see it in both the way he dances and like carries himself on camera, but yeah, in, in his styling as well. Part, partly what makes him so attractive as a performer. He seems like he can mold himself. Oh wait, this pre-chorus is, uh, or bridge rather, is sick. Oh! Less is more when you could bring this kind of charisma to your dance. That's a, that's a well-defined back, my friends. And everything is better in the rain. Everything is better when you're wet, you know? Except your socks. Don't get your socks wet. A lot of extended shots here too, which makes sense for the MV, with it being more of like a slow and, and uh, plotting pace of a song, you're not gonna have your, your fast, quick cuts. It lets you kind of fall into the moments and kind of capture all your senses through it. So yeah, well executed MV. Uh, this was from 2017. I don't know when his first, this is his second full length album. So clearly he had been already doing this for a bit in terms of like his solo work. I don't know when his first like solo stuff came out. Um, but this video definitely, you look at production level of like this and then something else that I would know like criminal or idea or advice. And those are just so crazy high budget. Um, but this iconic song, iconic song, really well done. Let's move on to wants. This one I don't think I know, I might, but let's find out. Oh, this is 2019. Okay, so this is gonna have the budget already, we can tell, you can already see. Captions are on, thank you. See, all of this, all of this, I feel like, oh, if Tumblr were still popular, like, Taman would just be all over aesthetic blocks. Like, every single shot of this, the smoke coming from his mouth, like, you could rip a gif from any scene of this and throw it on a Tumblr aesthetic blog. It's just all mood. So much substance. Oh, these two songs go together really well. The lips on this man. Oh, yes. Whoa. Did they take a bunch of stills with different lighting? This is, this is, foreplay the song. Yeah, so this making you want more, thirst for more, like he's going to entice you or, or lull you in. And then you have like the snake there, almost like he is a form of venom, something that's going to like poison your body and, and turn you into some, some way. It's working. Get me the antidote, or I actually don't want it. Ah, 
I love those echoed high pitched voices. Whoa. I'll make you innocent? Doubtful. Ah, I really like this bridge. They they brought forward his his vocals and kind of your instrumentation falls to the background. Even smoke gives you that feeling coming from his mouth. Like it's enveloping you. Oh! Oh, yes! Oh, the footwork! Come on! Those the gates to hell? What's going on here? Is is he leading us to sin? It almost seems like that. That's why you have your snake and your kind of hmm your kind of like Satanistic maybe metaphors thrown in there. I don't know if I'm looking a little too deep into that, but it almost seems like this song represents tem temptation, wants to kind of luring you to sin and maybe this being a depiction of the gates of hell at the very end of the MV. It makes sense. It makes us want to sin. I mean, I don't know, man. I love it. Any kind of demonic imagery, shit like that, I'm totally for it. I love that stuff. Yeah, these two songs, I think, are a great pairing. They have very similar tones and paces. They're very much slower, slower paced, plotting, lets you kind of feel the whole atmosphere of, of the song and uh, he has those like very slight choreo movements didn't go hard until like the very end of wants so like you look at the antithesis of that being something like idea or advice where his choreography is very sharp very fast um, and erratic over here it's just smooth controlled very sensual uh, I love both of these um, these fit very differently into my playlist that I have so far for Taman's tracks, but I really, really enjoyed it. And there's, there are songs that I've heard of his that I haven't seen either MVs or the actual album version of when I reacted to his uh, like concert performances that he did um, on Patreon. And uh, I, I need to find out what songs those were because some of them were amazing. Oh, what was the, there was one that had that was like guitar driven. And oh, my God, I think it was called have like sex in the name or something like that. I don't it just called I don't remember but it was incredible I love that song and I need to like look it up but uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this as well what do you think of these two songs what do you think of the imagery and wants like what does that song mean to you I've only had one time through it obviously and haven't been able to really look at the lyrics closely uh but that's the idea I get something some kind of temptation uh leading you towards like sin um but you know sinning is sitting can be fun so who knows but thank you guys so much for checking these out with me if you want to see some more tame like i said either patreon or check out my uh tame playlist down below in the description subscribe if you are new recommend some other tame tracks to me down below that i have not seen just yet and i'll see you in the next one